Brighton continued their march towards European qualifiers, with a 2-0 win over Bournemouth, the result getting them four points closer to top four. Evan Ferguson sent Roberto de Zerbi's side to max points with a classy flick before the substitute, and his young friend Julio Enciso rounded out the points in injury time. The win puts Brighton in sixth place, but puts them close by four points to fifth place Manchester United and fourth place Tottenham, and most importantly de Zerbi's side has two games on Spurs ahead of Saturday's match in North London. The only downside to another great night for Brighton was that match player Moises Caicedo limped in second half with leg injury, but De Zerbi underestimated a magic scare on the sidelines and described issue as not big deal. He was confident that the Ecuadorian international would play on Saturday. Engaging Brighton goalkeeper Jason Steele, Bournemouth are down to the last three, but remain very tight in their fight for survival. Player ratings Bournemouth Neto Smith Stevens Sensi Kelly Watora Christy Lema Traurer Billing Solenty Subs Brooks Cook Tavani Semenio Brighton Steel Veltman Webster Dunk Estupanen Gross Caicedo March Matt Felista Mitoma Ferguson Subs in CISO Welbeck Ayayi Player of the Match Musa Caicedo How Brighton continued to break into the top four Julio Enciso cheers after Brighton take a 2-0 lead at Bournemouth after a lack of goal clearance in an end-to-end -end opening period delayed by referee Darren Bond, who needed help with communications equipment. The visitors showed off their class by finishing as if they were playing in the Champions League with their 18-year-old forward Ferguson. Lead for years. Keira Mitoma sent cross, and the Republic of Ireland forward finished coldly into lower right corner for about seven yards. Team News Ferguson returns for Brighton Gary O'Neill resisted the urge to start Marcus Tavani despite his fantastic goal from the bench against Fulham, but still made two substitutions. Ham Trower and Ryan Christie replaced Joe Rothwell and Jaden Anthony. After a 3-3 draw with Brent Ford, Roberto De Zerbi made two changes as Evan Ferguson, who was not in the weekend's matchday squad replaced Danny Welbeck on offence, and Adam Webster took the lead over Levi Colwell. Still, Bournemouth responded well to the setback, and needed to level up. Dominic Solenke stabbed Seagull's goalie Steele's palm, before Ham Traurer, on lone Sassuolo midfielder, lavishly poked him wide after being slid away by Jefferson Lema, who was then rejected by a spectacular block from Adam Webster. Brighton captain Lewis Dunk came close to putting ball into his own net under pressure from Solenke early in second quarter, and Lemma's attempt to dip from edge of penalty area was knocked over by Steele's fingertips. David Brooks was then introduced for his first home appearance after being diagnosed with stage 2 Hodgkin lymphoma in October 2021. But longer game got, more likely Brighton seemed, with help of De Zerbi's clever substitutions. Cherry's goalie Neto made a good stand to reject Pascal Gross before leaving in distress after Caicedo's subsequent collision with Philip Billing. Danny Welbeck, as Ferguson's replacement, made the result almost indisputable seven minutes after he was rejected by Neto after Mitoma and Soli March did well. It's up to 19-year-old Paraguayan striker in CISO to seal the points. He received a pass from Gross and coldly scored his first goal for the club. It's a big weekend for both sides as Bournemouth heads to relegation rivals Leicester on Saturday, 1500 start. Meanwhile, Brighton hosts Tottenham in a game that could have a major impact on Saturday's race for the top four, 1500 start. De Zerbi Ferguson could be great please use the Chrome browser for a more accessible video player Roberto De Zerbi praised Brighton's youth sensation, Evan Ferguson, after his fantastic goal against Bournemouth, and said the Irish forward could be a great player in European football. Roberto De Zerbi said, Ferguson's best feature is to score goals and that's a very important quality, but I think he has potential to improve on other parts of the pitch play with other players and play more for team. I need to get results in my work, but I need to help my players develop and progress. But I think we can reach our goal with Evan. 
I'm proud of him. I think the same for our scouts at our club. Cherry's boss Gary O'Neill said, we missed some big chances. They turned a very tough first half chance. Bournemouth boss Gary O'Neill criticized his team's lack of quality in the last third as they wasted a handful of chances in their 2-0 home defeat to Brighton. Brighton is a good side when you open space. We got off to a really good start. We were aggressive against a very good team. Overall, I thought the game was there for us, but we didn't really manage to get good luck. Where do Brighton need to finish to qualify for Europe? Fifth place and FA Cup winners qualify for the Europa League group stage Carabao Cup winners qualify for the European Conference League playoffs however. If Man City, Man United or Brighton win FA Cup and win competition by completing their Europa League qualifying points in top 5, they will be transferred to next highest finisher who does not qualify for Premier League, i.e. 6th place. Similarly, as Man United won Carabao Cup and will likely finish in top 5, their European Conference League qualifying points will finish in 7th place, next highest finisher of Premier League without European football. The 22nd of April Man United FA Cup semi-finals. Kickoff May 4th, 1500 Man United Premier League. Kickoff at 2. Live on Sky Sports. Date not announced Man City Premier League.